Hey there, mortgage brokers. Time to discuss a new tool. The topic on the table for today is the newly launched Importer tool. Remember when your data from system swaps used to be difficult to manage? Now you can upload your data from any spreadsheet that you have on Excel. So whether you're coming over from a banking environment and you want all your leads and contacts, or you're just wishing to upload your deals from another system, this new Importer tool allows you to easily manage your data and choose the sources as well as the values that you wish to appear in Velocity. Let's have a look at this in two parts. Firstly, we'll look at adding data in the form of a deal. Then we'll look at adding leads and contacts and all the data that we collect from the client themselves. So let's jump on in and see how this works. Okay, so as per usual, starting on my home screen in the black bar, I'm going to scroll down, click Tools, click Importer. What you will notice at step number one here is I can go and select a data type. Here, all you're doing is deciding if you're importing deals, contacts, or lead-based information. Step number two, that's where you're going to go ahead and select your data source. Now, we still have the expert consolidated data as well as Nexus. However, if you wish to import information from other sources, you can now do that as well. To do this, just go ahead and click on Add a Data Source. What you will notice is the following window will pop up. What you now have to do is enter the name for this particular source. Once you're done, just go ahead and click on Add. And woohoo, you have successfully uploaded that source. Click OK to get out of here. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and move over to step three, and this is where you start uploading your data. To do this, go ahead and click on Browse Files. This will open up a window where you can now go ahead and select the spreadsheet that you want to upload. Once you've done this, it's as simple as clicking Upload. All the data will appear at the bottom in the section that says Manage Your Data. It's here that you will see your data source as well as values as it appears on your spreadsheet. The next step is just to simply map this. Now in the middle column here where it says velocity, it says please choose a field. This field is showing application ID. So all I do is go ahead and choose the field. What pops up is the following screen. Now this is the application ID, so under the deal it is the loan code and I've successfully mapped loan code to that source. Next is the deal status. I go ahead and choose a field under the deal. I'll choose deal status. Now, under this particular window, I can go ahead and choose the status from a drop down menu. So, for example, if I'm dealing with a file that's already in the approved status, I go ahead and select approve and simply click save. I can then complete mapping this data simply by selecting the field for each row. Once I'm complete, I just import it to Velocity and presto, this is done at the bottom. So I have two options, one which is importing to Velocity, the other one is to save the mapping. So if I'm not done and need to run away and do something else, that's okay. I can click save mapping and it will save what I've mapped so far. If I'm complete and I'm done uploading it, I can import it to Velocity by clicking here. Does that sound easy enough to you? All right, let's try a contact. From your data type, select contact or lead instead of deal. This is very important because it's going to stipulate the type of data you're moving over. So you don't want to use deal for this one. Next, click add data source and stipulate where the data has come from. So just give it a name and hit add. Next is just to upload the data. So go ahead and click browse and upload the spreadsheet for all the info that you When you're done, click Upload. Now, under the Manage Data section, just start the mapping process. For example, first name is the source. Go ahead and choose a field to map. Under Contact, go ahead and select first name. Next is last name, home phone, etc. On the value side, I'll see all the data appear there. When I'm done, click Import, and it's as simple as that. I hope that was simple enough. So no more hassles for those of you who are having problems with external data. It's just another way we're improving, trying to make your life easier. 
Anyway, that's it for me, and I'll catch you in the next one on the Velocity Train. Cheers for now.